Was it chilly? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Look at it. Morning, we're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We are at the Festival of the Arts today. I'm very, very, very excited. Are you excited, Katie? So excited. We're gonna do Disney on Broadway. That's like basically why I'm here. Peter knew that the the performers that were gonna be here this weekend, I really, really wanted to see, and we thought we would see. So we're gonna see Josh Strickland and um, Ashley Brown tonight. And we are hungry, so we're gonna start with food. Good morning, everybody. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. <laughs> that was cute. Uh, we slept in today, so we are not able to get as much as I wanted done here at the apartment. Um, I just took a shower. Um, James already had his morning bottle. I'm gonna start getting ourselves packed up to head to Christina and Grant's. That antipasta trip and prepping last night I've been talking about, I'm actually gonna assemble there. It'll just be easier um, with James down in the family room playing with the toys and the kids. Um, and I can make it up in the kitchen and just keep an eye on him from there. Whereas from here, it's like I'm either all the way in the kitchen or all the way in the front here. Um, and the puppy too. So Sarah's already at Epcot. We talked to her this morning. She's got a great day planned. I'm very excited for her. And it's gonna be a good, good Sunday. We're approaching World Showcase and the flowers have been planted. Oh, there's the 50. It's like in that big circle. So you can kind of make out there's a, like a red 50 in that like middle yellow circle. Wow, I didn't think I'd get to see this this year. <laughs> I don't know if we showed much of this in January. We got some yeah, good hard. Yeah, because it, it did rain. Thankfully, like it was basically stopping. Like, when aren't we planned to get here? But that's really cute. This Aurora, I love like the frame. Some non Disney artwork. Ooh, I like this. This beetle. It's Rapunzel and Stitch with Scrump. So cute. First stop of the day. Pop Eats, got the grilled cheese, just plain, just plain grilled cheese, and tomato soup. Look at this cute can. So France is typically a really long line, but it went fast, we embraced it. There's their menu. My only goal for the festival booths today is the Encanto booth, which is next, so I didn't go all out. I almost got one of everything, like that was like my <laughs> initial thought, um, but I just got the Brie and a bread bowl and the dessert because it's like molten chocolate hazelnut cake yeah it really does and i just always pass up the france booth because of the line so i'm just like i'm just happy to be here it was like five minutes. <laughs> yeah it was really fast yeah here's the bread bowl it's way less soupy than i thought but i'm actually a very big fan it's super creamy and then here is the cake oh look at the mickey on the side oh i was like <laughs> wow! All righty, vibrante and vivido. Can't go wrong with any of them. Right, and this is usually full, so I am so excited. I do have to get all of them here. Katie's gonna eat my corn in the soup because I'm not a corn fan. Also, France was really good. Both of my things were kind of like simple as far as like a bread bowl with like cheese in it and lava cake but it was just like a little extra french where like the lava cake had hazelnut and it was so good and it was brie cheese instead of just like a standard white cheese both were so good and the sun is peeking out which is nice but 
this has been like this booth always has a long line and I was willing to wait in it and I won't have to. So excited. The booth itself is so stinking cute too. It looks like Maribel made it. On our favorite table, got the moose, the empanada, and the suit. I'm so pumped. When they eat this in the movie, I've always been like, I need to try that soup. But then when we came here, we saw it. I was pumped. Look at these two kids are back at it. A weekend full of cousins. And the Sakards housing or housing hosting their first big family party at their house. We're housing a house party. Are you nervous? I'm nervous that there's gonna be destruction to my carpet or my couch. Everything else will be okay. Well we're locking the kids in the sub basement, right? Yeah. And we should just lock the or aunts and the cousins Mickey Mouse upstairs. Is gonna make an appearance. The, our mouse oh yeah. <laughs> All right, finally the tree is going to be constructed. I, I wrapped that in tin foil. It'll look better once like you stab it a million times with toothpicks. And it's simple, it's, yeah, use that, that's cute. It's meat, cheese, olive. Alternate and make sure you don't have the same colors next to each other because my life's a graphic designer. Yes, and uh, someone will make fun of you and say you ruined Christmas. The question is, did I fill up my cup high enough? So this is what it basically looks like. So you do this over and over and over again, higher, 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 till all the way to the top. It's just, it's a labor of love, but it's really good and a lot of fun. We're checking out a lot of the art booths today. I'm so full from that, like those portions. And they're like, so big. they're like six bucks. Like they're decent prices, but like the soup had avocado and potato and chicken. And I had to throw some away, which is like, and I, I ate your corn. you did. And you <laughs> ate some of the mousse. Like I'm like totally like, a clean plate club member and it hurt throwing some of it away it was like <laughs> tiny like my belly is bigger it's <laughs> no we're gonna, we're gonna take a break from food so we're just strolling this showcase now and we totally forgot that they do animation academy here at the um american gardens theater and we probably won't get to do it today because there's only one more time but Still such a fun offering at the festival. This is the best festival. Look where we are. So happy to sit and to get a Coca-Cola. These stairs or something else. <laughs> oh, I got some new Ottomans up here. These are my favorite chairs. I'm very excited. And we're right by the snacks and the drinks. Cheers. Wow. All right, here we go. Ended up being a family affair, which is always better when it's that way. Violet helped, Christina helped, James helped, Luca helped. But I gotta get this um, wrapped up slightly and get it out to the garage fridge. But that is the famous antipasto Christmas tree. I look over after letting Violet go up the stairs and he's just laying on the ground. I think he might be ready for his nap. This is what he does. But instead of toys, it's a bottle he puts down there. How about we have some french fries and we'll get you a bottle. Maybe, maybe we'll go down for a nap before Target. Alrighty, we're heading into the land for Soren and Living With The Land. Both have like not bad wait times at all. Yeah, and don't jinx it either. <laughs> we're gonna go there. It also just smells so good in here. I love the land. Ooh. It's so funny to me that like I can go on this pregnant, like this is one of like the e-ticket yeah. rides that I can go on, but then like once Teddy's born, he can't go on it anymore. So it's like, this is his first ride <laughs> on it, but then it's a long time until he can go on it again. But we really don't do riders swap for this. And so this was on like, I had like five things I wanted to do today and Soren was one of them. Soren to tower. We are ready for takeoff.
on behalf of our entire flight crew, thanks for soaring with us. Someone was not feeling their nap. So we're running to Target to grab like two last minute things. Look at this big kid. This is fun, right? Well, this isn't quite what I expected for nap time. But I think he's like channeling his inner father vibes because I feel like this is the same kind of bumping that the CTA does and the CTA would lull, lull me to sleep. So it looks like we'll be here for at least a half hour now before I try to move him back in the car seat. But I'm glad he's sleeping. Next, we're doing Living With The Land, five minutes. <laughs> Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. It did some rain in while we were inside, which was perfect timing. And now the sun is out. We were going to walk over to Crescent Lake, but our priority is the Disney on Broadway shows. So I'm just worried that we're going to like be thinking too much about time and getting back and Exactly. Don't be stressed. We're enjoying ourselves. Megan plans on joining us eventually. She had to work today. Um, so I think we're just going to stay at that. I'm like I'm totally you. content with that. <laughs> I wanted to get a drink at uh, Abracadabra. It's quite a fancy drink here. Yeah. The there's, festival yeah, there has to be one. <laughs> we're going to do a little paint by numbers. We got number 10. We get to paint eight squares. Eight, eight squares. squares. <laughs> and we've heard that it's like a little bookmark you get at the end to see what the final picture will be. It looks like it's actually almost it's filling up. So we got we to paint eight squares. I am ten. Katie got five. five, which is the sky, which is nice. I don't see as many tens. The most beautiful square I ever did see. <laughs> I just saw that it's, it's like the skyline of it's like the smile. World Showcase, but as if like Mary Blair, Small World style. Oh. So it's a part of it. What do we call it? Yeah. Oh, so I'm trying to do them like all over. We got two surprises over here. One, Daisy. Such a cute little place. Two, this big old ship. I don't remember what it's called, but <laughs> I know it's a ship. Star ship. I like her big events. All right, it's been about 40 minutes of this, so I think we're gonna attempt to get to the car now since the party starts not too long from now. Did some shopping. I'll show you when we like, maybe when we sit down to wait for fireworks, but I did some shopping for me, a little for James. I'm gonna get one more thing for Peter. Um, but we just left Creation, such a good store. We're waiting in line to get into Club Cool. Should we cheers Beverly for Peter? Oh my gosh, oh. okay, I'll do it, but literally <laughs> only for Peter. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it too. Okay, Peter, we all have Beverly for you. Thank you for this weekend. Just a little bit. So bad. Uh-oh, oh, I thought you were gonna be like, <laughs> So the first initial taste is like bubblegum, but then it turns mm -hmm. like real sour, real fast. Why did I just take another so sip? Bitter. It's so gross. I still am not like... Why'd you do that? <laughs> I don't know. I what? thought it was... Did you try the... Have you tried the... Yeah. It, it's it, like barbecue I, sauce. I love barbecue sauce and I don't like it. Why did I do that I'm still myself? not used to these. I like the watermelon. Yeah, I like anything tropical. I also really like the cucumber sprite. Yeah, that is really good. Ugh, that barely still in my mouth. Melon's a palate cleanser. It's good. Are you ready to party with your cute outfit? Got like Johnny Crash, Johnny, Johnny Cash meets Christmas vibe. Let's go play with the kids. The name of the game today is TVs on TVs. We got TV in the front room. We got gifts for our grab bag. Looking good. Looking festive and super bullish. Sliders. Sliders. So we got into the bar at Space 220. Megan is with us now. We didn't even wait that long. It was just like good timing. Yeah. Hello. Got a board.
boarding pass. Oh my gosh. It's a park berth. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Welcome aboard this elevator. In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Ooh. Enjoy the ride. You're riding aboard the Mark 5 Stellivator, the latest in space elevator That's design cool. and technology. Today, you'll have a spectacular view of the part of the Eastern Seaboard. Pretty cool view of Earth. This worked out even better than I expected it to. Yeah. But look, look, where's the astronauts? Oh, we got some astronauts over here. We got our first drink. I mean, it's not, it's Katie's drink. But we each got like one of the zero proof non alcoholic cocktails. That one has cotton candy and you put the pop rocks in it. Fancy. Ooh. Megan's is called a Milky Way and it has espresso and brown sugar and fancy pants things. And mine is the Lightyear Lemonade. It's lemonade and some sort of tea and mint. Cheers. Oh, mine is kind of. It feels the hot rocks. <laughs> I love these glasses. Oh, they're so good. I was looking at my trading cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah our drinks came with wonder, trading cards. It's like we're all pretty milk. I wonder if they're all the same. The way of the world. Lunar bacon cubes. We are the cosmos. Space tourism. A real scorcher. Etched in eternity. <laughs> I got a all white. Nope. Should I lie Well, if you got an all white one, it's worth like $300. Is it really? That's so fun. So if you come and you get an all white card, it's worth $300. Yeah, they're so cool. There's still a chance. We can order more drinks. Throw them back down your the idea Go is when you take the straw and you put it in the drink, every time you drink, I don't drink, trust you now. It's popping in your mouth every time you take a drink. Oh. Oh my gosh, I get it. <laughs> and they don't have paper straws here. They have these marine biodegradable industrial compostable straws. And they feel like plastic. And our food is all ready here. We got the rib, like short rib sliders. Chicken on a waffle. Chicken on a waffle and cauliflower. All looks and smells really good. Everything we had was very good. It was a little bit pricier, like I'll admit, as far as like loungy appetizer food, but everything was like super, super good. So that like, it's like worth it. I think for the experience. Yeah, I think so. We're getting ready for our grab bag. You hear the chaos in the background. That is the Italian family Christmas party. Here are some of the cool games our cousin Matt made for the game. Pause and check it out. I don't know how you win. I think it's the most points. I don't know what you win. It's a dollar a game. Commercial bingo. Fun stuff. We've returned to Earth. We finally get to see Anna Elsa and Olaf. It was covered up earlier with the rain. Ah, oh. World Showcase Sunset. Right? We're gonna watch Harmonious from the front tonight. Right? Yes, it's superior. It's superior viewing. And I love it without even that. Without even I like watching it. it. That way too, but yeah. like, I love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at the cute little snowballs. I wanna see more of these little characters tonight. I know there's one in Canada I for sure need to find. Okay, we're getting in line for Disney on Broadway. Yeah, we will get a great spot. Yeah. All right, James needs a diaper change, but the night is going very well. After a grab bag, I didn't show a lot, but I got this giant jar of pickles for Sarah from the White Elephant. She'll love it. 
we got our gifts. And James is enamored because he got Little People Toy Story 4, which has been his jam lately. But I gotta change his diaper and then get him some more dinner. Please welcome the stars of Disney on Broadway's Mary Poppins and Tarzan, Ashley Brown and Josh Strickland. on our, to celebrate it for a Walt Disney World. How amazing is that? Well, you can't see, but you got for the 50th anniversary. Some of this cannoli. There you go. Homemade cannoli. Nothing better. He's watching the kids. That show was the whole reason Peter booked this trip. It was so incredible. I have to admit something. What? That's the first time I saw a Disney Broadway series. Me too. And I can't believe that that was. I don't know. I can't believe it. They're not friends with them. We popped into Regal Eagle, mostly for Coke, and then I couldn't deny pickles. And I got mac and cheese too. Because I just, my, my hours are numbered and I need to eat up everything I can. The best thing about Regal Eagle, I feel like I say this every time, is that you can get refills. Take a drink. I really wanted to come to Canada to find the little bow from the Pixar short. It's set in Vancouver, so it's in Canada. He's just hanging out up there. The world is alive with music. your voice 
and it's enough to lift the human spirit. Set the song inside you soaring, and the whole wide world will hear it. I did even more shopping. I'm gonna do, I'll show a haul when I get home. Buy Epcot. Sad. Guess what? What? Gonna be here waiting for you. It will be. <laughs> I got some chocolate suckers and blades. <laughs> We didn't vlog too much tonight, but it was just like a lot of hanging out with family, catching up. Um, but we're in the car. We're gonna get back up to the north side and we're gonna get ready for bed. So we are back at their apartment. It is my last night in Orlando. It was just a quick, quick weekend here. And so we're all headed to bed. Megan has to work early and my flight is early. So we have to leave by like five. I got more souvenirs this trip. I think, I don't know, I, when we lived there, we really, we really held back and we really were like trying to be simple. And I went a little bit more so like overboard. It's not even really overboard, but I got... Jane's stuff for Valentine's Day, Peter's stuff for Valentine's Day, and then a few things for myself and for the family. So I'm gonna do a little haul and go to bed. So I got Rice Krispie treats, some Goofies, sour gummy worms. That'll probably be Valentine's Day for Jamesy. And then Peter loves these coconut patties and they've only had like packs of two for a while and this is a pack of 12. So that's another Valentine's Day thing because the Jesse is his is James Valentine's Day gift. I ended up sending it like to our house from Amazon. I didn't want to come home empty handed for him. So I got him this Pixar ball, this little buzz parachute and this Woody pullback toy. So that's for Jamesy. Here is like a straw set. I meant to get these in January. They're great for James to drink out of cups with, and we only have a couple of reusable ones. So I just thought that that would be nice to have for home. If you've been around a long time, is a coffee mug. It's for Peter that we used to have. That was our favorite that he broke. He never forgave himself, and then we couldn't find it. So tonight I was like, this is just like a fun little, I don't know, like, a little thoughtful gift of like your your mug back so there's that for peter all right and then the rest are clothes really peter or i could wear it to match with jamesy but i was really thinking like for my two valentines this is a sweatshirt i was wearing earlier in the vlog it says feels good to be home this is Peter's gift. It's this jacket, this 50th anniversary, which just has Walt Disney World. It's like, just like this classic block color. I love navy and yellow. And then this pattern has like subtle, like just like all the different icons. And it's like windbreaker material. And then it has this 50th on the back. We really don't have any 50th merch, so I thought that this was kind of a nice a nice piece to have. It's probably thin for now, but it'll be good for spring. And then this is my last piece that I like was not expecting to get today. The funny thing is, is we saw somebody wearing it in the park today and we were like, that is so cute. And then like that person like truly followed us the whole day. We kept on seeing them being like, there's our sweater. And then at the end of the night we were in creations and there was one more on the rack and I was like I think this is a sign and like I said like we've held back on souvenirs for a while and like this sweater just called to me <laughs> so um it's nice that we kind of have this last little haul before we 
you know, are on a bit of a Disney World hiatus until the end of the year. So I guess, I guess I'll just sign off. It is good to be home. I'm excited to go home tomorrow and I'll definitely be missing this home all at once. We're home. James fell asleep in the car ride and I was able to transfer him all the way in. So that was pretty cool. Um, so for our Christmas gifts, I got this really unexpected, unasked for dry fit athletic wear Cubs long sleeve, which is great because we're going to be going to a lot of Cubs games this year. So this super awesome Izod quarter zip winter sweater I got as well. This was a piece of James's. A buzz long sleeve. In addition to Toy Story 4 little people set next to Sarah's white elephant gift of kosher dill pickles. Sarah got some gifts, but we didn't open them yet. We'll open them tomorrow when she gets back from the airport. Really good, good party. Um, it was a little different because it was Christmas at the Super Bowl delayed. It was the first party that was at Sarah's parents' house. Now, Christian and Grant's. And it was the first time like the whole family had been there since it was now their home with the renovations and everything. So um, that was cool, a little different, um, you know, getting used to, but it was a really great time. Like everybody had so much fun, a lot of good food, a lot of good games, a lot of good watching of the Super Bowl. Um, but Sarah's calling me on FaceTime. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.